Ooh, hey. So, I actually have a different purpose for this video, which is super exciting. But I was looking at this and figured, eh, whatever, I'll just pop this in. So they put a little thing in the newsletter, an update, blah, blah. I mean, it's currently in the background downloading, so it says to nurse and protect. IG-11, the former assassin droid turned nurse, is coming to the hall tables. Yeah, no crap this weekend, duh. As a nanny who takes a different approach to tough love, IG-11 is a steadfast protector of the guild. I mean, child and trusted colleague to Quill. In addition to having a pack filled with ridiculously cute cargo. One thing I gotta say about the child, I'm not a fan of him. He's annoying. Especially after this last episode, he was a little dickhead. How he keeps eating those things after Manum keeps telling him to stop doing it, he keeps doing it. Though, despite that, it was like, that, he was making me mad. He's not even a real thing. He's a little teddy on a screen that I'm watching and he was making me mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely overblown too. Everybody needs to relax on on Yoda. Why is Yoda Baby Yoda becoming the most popular character? First off, he's not even Baby Yoda. That's not Yoda. That's just a Yoda species. I can see at least if it actually was Baby Yoda. Fine, okay, but it's not. We know it's not because Boba Fett's alive. So if Boba's alive, Yoda was alive during that time too. So this isn't Yoda. <sighs> So anyways, yeah, it's just, it's kind of frustrating because he's kind of a useless character. Yeah, he does have cool force powers when he wants to use them, but he doesn't, he had plenty of opportunities in these last couple of episodes. I mean, so far I've only seen episode one and two of season two, but he's had plenty of opportunities to use them and he never does. And it's like, F you, you stupid kid. You're a 50 year old <laughs> useless baggage, basically. You're literally weighing down Ma Mando, like, ugh. Anyway. I know that's unpopular opinion, but it's accurate opinion, okay? <laughs> so anyways, it says, In addition to having pack filled with annoying cargo, RG-11 brings some nursing skills to battle by granting allies additional max health. He also serves as a protector by taunting and stealing the enemy's health to keep his allies safe. IG-11 adds even more utility to droids and scoundrels as he assists during their turns and dispose the buffs. Take him out for a spin via the Galactic Challenges. Yep, we already know that. And then a new season of the Galactic Arena Championships has started, and two of the feats have more characters than could be easily listed in the feat description. The first feat is This is About Revenge, which requires you to defeat six enemy units in Grand Arena with characters who had ties to the Shadow Collective. This includes all of those guys. Our next, Our Identity, requires you to def defeat six enemy units in Grand Arena with characters who wear Mandalorian armor. This includes them. <laughs> and then Gar this typical stuff. Anyhow, the real juice that I wanted to get into was this. Right here. You have been promoted to guild leader. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. I've been in this guild since guilds were launched and I've seen a lot of stuff happen. We've gone through so many leaders. There's been a lot of shifts. I mean, it started out as Mike Howell and then a couple of years back it went to Flaximus. And then it went to Kroll just recently for a couple weeks. Then it was Mr. Saltine. And then this happened today. So, come on, Mr. Saltine. I created a direct chat to him. I said, hello, Mr. Saltine. I don't want to come off the wrong way, but I wanted to ask that if you ever decide to lead this guild, could you pass the leader reins on to me? I've been in this guild since day one, and if anything has been consistent, it's my presence. Which is true. I mean, I'm a very active player. Obviously, I have this channel now. Just, <laughs> just further, you know, solidifies my activeness. Um, and then I said, it started as Mike Howell, which I said, Fla transferred to Flax, and briefly to Kroll, and now you. This also has this guild has also been through two massive overhauls. This recent one being this second time and i'm still here yeah so when i said there's been massive overhauls basically what's happened is my guild has had like two uh civil wars almost you could say <laughs> and it's always just about like um the whales versus us free to play people the first time it happened was around the time that mike howell ended up stepping down there was just a lot of stuff going on all the officers were like whales and krakens and they were being dicks to everyone. There was one person that, I don't remember who it was offhand, but I felt like it was a girl, just because of the name. 
And, like, they were basically bullying her every single day. And I was like, what is going on? And, like, she was doing good just firing back at them. But, like, I felt bad. Like, they were just being jerks for no reason. Um, and then what happened was, out of nowhere, these doofuses kicked us all out of the guild. Or a lot of us out of the guild. And then they all left as well. And it was like, okay, if you wanted to leave, why are you kicking all us out too? That's stupid. Anyhow, I was one of the ones that actually got booted, but somebody that was else that was in the guild had us all, like, as friends, so they had our ally codes, and they were able to call most of us back. So, luckily, when I got kicked out, I was right back in the guild anyways. <laughs> um, but then what happened was all the achievements that you have from being with the guild, they went away. Which was frustrating to me, because, like, I lost everything that I had worked on because these dicks thought, oh, yeah, I'm just going to kick these people out, and then we're going to kick ourselves out. Like, for example, there's the achievements for... Can you see it in here? Um, uh, where is it? What am I looking for? Uh, I feel like it's in here, right? Uh... One thing I don't understand is what this means. What, what does this mean? Because all these people are in our in my guild, so like what? What? I don't understand. No, where is it? It's um. There was a way to tell how much you donate and stuff compared to everyone else. Is it in here? Come on. Why does this not work? Finally. Nope. Um, guild store? Oh, that's dumb. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's right there. So yeah, like this stuff. Uh, donations lifetime. Where am I at? Are you kidding me? I'm way down there? See, it's frustrating though, because at one point, before these idiots kicked me out, I was at like 2,000 parts donated. Which means if they didn't kick me out, I would be so far beyond all these people. Like, this guy right here, Vinx, in first, I would be crushing that guy. <sighs> and it's like, here I am, like, mid-level. Like, what else? Um, rank. Yeah. <laughs> I pull rank, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what else? Raid tickets, lifetime. Ooh, alright, sweet. I'm in first at that, at least. Yeah, what's up? That's why I'm the leader. Guild tickets, tokens. Ah, I'm in second. But Stabone's an officer, so that's okay. How is Stabone beating me? I've been in the guild longer than him. I'm pretty sure I'm the only remaining member from the original days. Uh, right? I don't know. Donations daily. What's like the most for today? <laughs> Nobody? All I have to do is donate one thing and I'm winning? <laughs> arena power. How do I rank in arena? Hmm. Ugh. God, I'm weak. <laughs> anyhow though so yeah so like these idiots went through and they kicked a lot of us out and yeah so <sighs> we came back and then yeah the, then we had like a happier guild but now it's been starting again this recently we just had like nobody did anything dickish this time it was just a mass exodus just tons of people just left out of nowhere one day I logged into the game and it said like our guild power was like minus 200 million or something maybe not 200 million but it was a massive amount you knew a lot of people left maybe it was like 50 million yeah that would make more sense like minus 50 million and it was like whoa what happened and then we went from a full guild 50 out of 50 down to 30 out of 50 <laughs> we lost a lot of people and um that was all because of you know the new whales and krakens uh, they might have not actually been whales and krakens but they had galactic legends characters and so they wanted to be in a guild that had more galactic legends characters and so that's why they all dipped at the end of the day though the way i see it is galactic legends don't matter like that's just an achievement for yourself you know what i mean it's not like you need a, there's not a raid yet that requires galactic legends i'm sure that'll come but right now that's not a thing so it's like it doesn't really matter that a lot of us didn't have galactic legends like why did they all dip i don't understand what their logic was but from what i understand that's why they all dipped so anyways we ended up with mr saltine so like i said i i hit him up and then after i put that and then i said 
like I said, I'm not trying to be pushy or come off the wrong way. Like, I wasn't trying to steal this from him. I was just pitching that, like, hey, if you ever want to leave, can you consider me? Just trying to pitch my case. Thank you. Then it said Mr. Saltine joined the room, so he read my response, and he said, if you want, I'll pass it over to you now. I didn't want to take over as leader, but basically all the other officers were going, so I was kind of last man standing. Which, when he said that, kind of made me frustrated, because I was thinking, you know what, that's some bullcrap, because when stupid Kroll came on... Remember, I made a video complaining about how he demoted me for no reason because I was an officer. Flax promoted me to officer, just almost like an honorary thing because I was in the guild forever. And then this doofus comes along, Kroll, and dem demotes me. And then I asked him, what did you demote me for? And I never got a response. So that's what made me even matter. If he at least had a good response, then I've been like, it is what it is. But he didn't even have anything to say, so I felt like it was just a dick move for no reason. So, anyway when he said that you know i was kind of last man standing it was like well, what the heck i was an officer i still should have been an officer I'm not saying that they would have chose me to be the leader but still but anyways then when he said that i said well that's up to you i'm not trying to steal your position i'm just future planning and he said all right i'll pass it over to you to do that i'll have to leave and rejoin so just let me back in which it seemed like he was already back because i keep checking he's in the guild so i'm like well, i don't know and then Flax, he's, you know, a former leader, so, but I, I asked him, do you want to be a promote, uh, an officer? Because the way I see it is he was a leader, but yeah, I get it, he gave up being the leader, so maybe he just didn't want to be the leader anymore. But I just saw it as, there's no reason why he can't be an officer if he wants. And then this dickhead, and all these people, I don't really even need them, I don't know... And then that's what I said, too. He handed... Darth and I spoke about it. He'll be taking over leadership. I'm staying with his guild, though. And then 4Q said, okay. And then I said, sweet. Thanks, Salty. And then I said, now that I'm the leader, I'm like, I'm going to take this over. So I said, I'm laid back and realize this is a freemium game. Because I do. I, I'm not going to be one of these idiots that's all hardcore. Like, you need to be on Discord or this and that. It's a freemium phone game. Like, calm down. But I was like, the only thing I request is participation. That's something I've got to be on. Because this last territory battle... We weren't doing, we didn't do terrible, but we didn't do as good as I thought we could have. And then I checked, and yeah, our guild is much smaller. We're, like I said, we're down to only like 30 people out of 50. But I think only, what was it, 12 people actually participated in the territory battles? How many was it? Does it show me a... Aw, oh, it doesn't show me. Well, still, we didn't have full. We didn't have nearly full participation at all, and it was like if we had more people participating, this would have went better. But no, all these idiots didn't join in, and so that's why we had worse, worse scores and what have you. Red Shadow left the guild. Man, probably no loss. I don't even know who you are. So, ooh, look at that. Okay, yeah, he did come back. I didn't see that. Darth City's Clark has been promoted to leader of the guild. Mr. Saltine left the guild. Mr. Saltine joined the guild. Okay. Okay. Fork you has just promoted. Blah, blah, blah. Does this say Mr. Saltine? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I promoted two people right away, too. I promoted Mr. Saltine, the officer, because I figured he was the leader. So, And I, I'm, he was officer. And according to him, he said he was promoted to leader by default. So I figured, well, he was probably okay with being an officer. I'll put him back to an officer. And then Miss Agro 17 I promoted to officer because I always think of that as a, as a woman, Ms. Agro, but I'm pretty sure it's a guy. So he has, I know he's been with the guild for a while and he's been fairly active with like chatting and trying to strategize. So I was like, man, you seem like you probably deserve being a uh, officer. So I boosted him up and uh, yeah. But this is pretty cool. Because I'm not somebody who wants to be like a follower either. Like when guilds came out, I initially wanted to be... I, I thought about making my own guild. But then I was like, what would be the best course of action? Like, should I make my own guild? Or should I just join a guild? Because I didn't know what being a leader would entail. And I was like, I'm not looking for something hardcore. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be like super onto this. Like a job almost. So, I was like, maybe I'll just join a guild. That way then, A, I can support that guild, and whoever the leader is can feel good that their guild's taken off. 
And then I was like, B, you know, it gets me like some understanding of guilds and then I can work my way up. And then if I ever feel like dipping, then I can dip and make my own guild then. Well, that time's never come. I never really felt like a need to dip. It's always been a fair guild other than when we get these idiots, you know, acting up. But otherwise, what the heck? There it is. But otherwise, it's like a fair guild. So, you know, I don't really have any issues with it. And, uh... Yeah, so I've just stuck... I've just stuck around. Imagine if I had this over here, too. Yeah, I'd be... I'd be at 40. And I was just at 5. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, it's been a fair guild, so that's why I've stuck around and haven't left. But... I just... Recently, too, with Kroll demoting me, like, that frustrated me. And I thought about leaving the guild and starting my own guild just because of that. Because I was like, I'm not going to get demoted. I've been an officer. I deserve to be an officer. I'm not going to accept this demotion because Kroll's an idiot. And, I don't know, doesn't like me for no reason. There's no valid reason. I'm very active and everything, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, now I'm the leader. So that's cool. I don't know if there can be any kind of coups or anything, or people can act up, but if they do, I'll just kick them. See you later. You want to be a dick? Bye. Dealt with enough dicks in my time during this game, so. <laughs> but yeah, as oh uh, man, I'm super close. As I was saying, though, this is pretty awesome. I'm a leader now. I'm a leader of a guild that I've been true to. It's almost like being the president of the United States. You know what I mean? It's your country, and now you're the leader of it. It's cool. I know this is something small scale, it's just Star Wars, but it's like... Cool. There, you know? I'm the leader. <laughs> of my own guild. That I got promoted into, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't make a guild. I got promoted! So that's what feels cool about it, too. I worked my way up. I guess you could say. <laughs> so, yeah. That's about it.